Hey, what's up team? How's it going? Eddie Gray here, back at it again. And today I want to talk to you about groove tracks. Have you heard of them? Have you heard of this function in Logic Pro? It is absolutely outstanding. Let me show it to you. So right here I have got two percussion sources. Drum kit, a shaker. Take a listen. So at first listen, I think everyone would agree that it sounds okay, but it sounds fairly sloppy. And that's mostly due to the fact that the transients and the waveforms are basically just not lining up. They're not kind of playing the same groove. We know that every single musician, bass player, drummers, they all have their unique bend or their unique feel when it comes to their instrument of choice. And so in the case with this drummer, it sounds like he's playing a little bit ahead of the beat and this shaker is not. And so you get this kind of sloppy sound, which in some cases will work for certain genres. It'll sound amazing. But for others, we definitely will need to do a cleanup job. So I want you to listen a second time, but this time I want you to bear in mind that it sounds a little bit sloppy. Take a listen. Now we know we can quantize the groove. That's kind of the obvious approach. Let me show you something that could be helpful and still retain the feel of the groove. It's called groove track. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click in the track header. Then I'm going to hover over track header components. Then I'm going to select groove track. And so that's going to enable the feature inside of Logic. Now we still do not see anything new in the session. That's because I have to hover over the track header. Here where it says track one. Now you see a star. So I'm going to click this and assign this as the actual groove track and of course track number two will then follow the groove track and so i just want to point out that if we look at the transients themselves in the waveform that they will actually adjust to the rhythm and feel of the groove track and so this is an absolute game changer because we're not just quantizing to the grid you're quantizing to the feel of the track that's in question. So let's listen to this. So that feels a lot better, doesn't it? Again, let's compare before. That can sound pretty bad over time. And then we're using groove track to get the groove to tighten up. Check it out. Pretty sweet, huh? All right, guys. Hey, we thank you for watching the content. If you have any suggestions, you want to see more videos, go ahead and hit us up. Support at hfmusicacademy.com. All right, guys, this is Eddie Gray signing off, reminding you to put the most important things in your life first. We thank you for watching the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one.